I'm showing you how to get Latit V2 for Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.20.80. Version 2.0 has basically just come out. To download it, you want to head over to Latit Client's official website, latit.net, which is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here you want to click on the big blue button to download V2. Then you can click on once again that same download button and the download will start automatically. Sometimes you might get this virus detected notification and if you do, there is a tutorial on how to bypass it down in the description below. Either way, I can confirm that Lati client is safe to use. Anyways, as you can see here in my downloads, I have the injector and I can simply double click on this just like so and their injector is going to pop up right over here. Here we'll be able to find their official Discord server, uh, settings cog right over here as well as the changelog and the credits. We can click on this big green launch button and that's actually automatically going to start up a Minecraft for us as you can see and there we go, the status is successful we have injected Latite Client into Minecraft. As you can see over here, we'll immediately get some Latite Client information, which is great. So now we can go ahead, click on play, and I'll show you guys how to use it. So here in Minecraft, you won't notice much immediately, but we can press M on our keyboard, and that is going to open up this area over here. We can click on Mod Settings, and now we will be met with the clicked UI, which as you can see is pretty compact and has a whole bunch of things available. You can click on them just like so to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off. And as you can see, these, are also, these also have a collapsible menu. They have a custom bind, as you can see in this case, the bind is G. You can right click on that and that's gonna reset it, or you can left click on it and then you can press any key and that is going to bind that key to what Whatever that module is. Anyways, these modules right over here can be sorted by game, HUD, and plugins. Plugins I don't have any of right now. You can download them from online and stuff like that. Just watch out with downloads, of course. Um, anyways, we'll look at these through these two categories. So in game, we have things that are going to show up in game or allow us to do stuff, right? So here we have the zoom, for example, something really useful. Um, as you can see, C is bound to zoom. So if I turn this on, I can press on C and it's going to zoom. I'll turn on chunk borders as well. So you'll see um, basically what these are is things that are going to show up in game. So right now I have chunk borders enabled and I can, for example, press on C and that is going to zoom in to wherever I'm looking as you can see. These can once again, as I said, be actually adjusted. Um, as you can see, you can choose how hard you zoom right over here. Anyways, we can turn those off again. Basically, that is the idea of all these game utilities. They allow you to do stuff in game. Now, the HUD stands for Heads Up Display. The vanilla Minecraft Heads Up Display is your hotbar right over here and your hearts and your hunger. So these are basically things that are going to show up on your screen. We can go into the mod settings once again right over here and then under the HUD I can for example turn on the CPS counter, the FPS counter. Maybe I want to turn on my speed display so I can see how fast I'm going, right? As you can see when I escape now they're all going to be up in the top left. Once I press on M once again in this area I'll now be able to drag these things as you can see to wherever I'd like them. I can use the scroll wheel while on top of these to increase or decrease their size. As you can see, I can make it as big or as small as I want it to be. It has a little thing saying what it does. So I can, maybe I want to put my speed display right down up there. I want my, C, my clicks per second and my frames per second counters to be right over here. Right? For example, of course, now, as you can see, I can see exactly how fast I'm going, as well as what my frames per second or clicks per second are. Right? Pretty simple. Basically, that is everything that is inside of the HUD menu. All of these things are going to show up on your screen. You can also customize them here. As you can see, you can set a key to turn these on or turn them off again if you want them to appear or disappear from your screen and as you can see you can also customize stuff like text size um, the background the text color a lot more stuff than i expected to be honest but there you go anyways 
Then we can move on to this settings cog right over here. These are some general client settings. The blur intensity changes how intense the blur is that we see right now um, when we have this menu open. Here you can also change the menu key. As I said, it's standard bound to M, but you can change this to whatever you want. This is once again the key that allows you to open up this click GUI area. And as you can see, you also have some other stuff right here. Anyways, well, I'll quickly turn off all of the HUD things right here. There we are. And now that isn't even all for this client. No, this client actually has more than that. You see, if I open up the chat and type in dot help, just like so, I'm going to get a list of all of the commands that this client has. Something brought back in Latit V2 is the ability to share configs with other people. So here you can use the config command um, to do actions related to profiles and configs if you want to remove the client you can use eject and as you can see there's a few more things right over here if you're not sure how they work you can simply type dot and then for example config and then it's going to tell you the exact usage of this so i can either load a config and then type its name or save a config and then type its name right so Basically, it is that simple, right? And basically, uh, that was that for Latite Client. Um, pretty cool client. I do quite like it myself. Anyways, let me know what you think of this client. Is it better than what we had? Is it better than V1? Well, it definitely is better than version 1. Um, let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. And for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.